Hello all and welcome to the next video here on the Onion Man's Rooftop 2 to Cow Caravan of Treasure and sometimes Barter. And we are back with some Super 7 Ultimates, this time back to the hit after hit near perfect Ninja Turtles line. Uh, we are taking a look at the Scratch and Ace Duck from the Series 6. Um, I wrote those on the shipper box so I can remember. Um, yeah, they look really nice. Um, here's the slip cases. There's your one for um, Scratch, and then there's your Ace Duck one. So you got your good guy in the green, bad guys in the purple. Works out for what it is. We're going to do Ace Duck first. I feel like Scratch is the more kind of fun one to mess around with here, and I'll explain why. But I'm going to start with Ace Duck here. Here's the back of the box if you want to read a little bit about Ace Duck. All right. Ooh. All right. There we go. Uh, I noticed my camera over there. R.I.P. to I'll, R.I.P. to Paul Rubens, man. Um, there's my little tribute to Paul Rubens. Uh, go check out. Um, I know Pee-wee's Big Adventure, and that's his big thing was Pee-wee Herman. But if you've never seen like his performances in Blow, the drug movie, or one of my favorite superhero movies, Mystery Men, go check that out. So R.I.P. Paul Rubens. Um, there you go. Oh wow, this is kind of cool. I like these already. So we have his wings. They're really cool. The different shades of like a wash of yellow. Really nice. I like that. Then we have the weapons rack like the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. Um, with the old colors too. The plain colors. And yes, you can tear those off if you chose to. Um, it's just uh, going to be a little, a little hard. But you can. I like that little aspect. Wow, we have an ungodly amount of alternate hands. Uh, we have his jacket without the holes, because the one he wears has holes in the back for the wings. We have a pistol. Looks pretty decent, I like the different colors. Matching the gold aesthetic here, if you were to colorize these old toys. And we got the Tommy gun. I like that they actually put the engraving on it. One of the things that I think benefits Super 7 a lot is, especially with the Ninja Turtle line and the uh, Toxic Crusader stuff, um, is that they're basing it off of old toys as opposed to a cartoon like Thundercats or real people like New Japan. I think that really helps them. He's got two, he's got his hat and goggles. Nice, his little beret and goggles. I don't think it's a beret, it's like a military hat. Oh, we dropped two. And of course he has his egg grenades. Oh, they're like cracked, ready to go. I like that, it's a nice touch. Uh, he does have a twist tie. Twist ties be damned. I have scissors. Nice. Hand right off. Enjoy that. Woo. That was a lot of stuff. Uh, two things. We got the alternate head with the cigarette or match. Nice. I like the detail on it. Like the they put the feathering on like the brow with the different shades of yellow for the uh, kind of undertone and bill. And of course, he's got the pilot hat. Or you can display him without that, and you've got his regular head. Here we go. Nice. A lot of the similar articulation you see in a lot of Super Seven Ultimates, but no ab swivel. It's just a waist swivel. Um, kind of an interesting choice there. The belt. 
is coming off. It's very loose. Or the bandolier, if you will. Um, I'll just tape it off for now anyway. It does look good, though. They really actually did a good job of giving it like a leathery texture. Uh, the tail, which has some... Oh, uh, it's a peg. That's not bueno. Go back in there. Okay. Um, I don't think that's in there properly. Oh, now I gotta fix this. It's gonna bug me. The tail needs to be in. There we go. Uh, they even have the webbing on the feet is like textured. Like the little talon part. It's a really nice figure. The little red badge. Little wing logo. There's the back with the turtle's egg. Or shell. There's the peg for the wings. They just peg right in. Nice. I like it. And the tail fell off. A lot going on there. So many little accessories to go through. Um, Alright. Next is probably the one I think a lot of people sort of really wanted. I don't know why I felt like this was the big go-to. And I, I get the reasoning. I'm taking the drink there, sorry. Um, we have Scratch. There's the back if you want to pause and read his little card. Yeah, so Scratch is supposed to be like one of the rare expensive figures of the old toys, right? So I think it's cool we got that early for uh, the Super 7 wave. But yeah, I think at one point in time the Scratch figure was like the rarest one, right? The most expensive one. Like brand new, mint, on card. We have the weapons thing. It's like on a big long chain, so if you clip all the others off, he has a chain too. So you don't have to like throw any pieces away other than the little pegs in the middle. Nice. We got a dead fish, ball and chain, hammer. What is that? Like a grate? Like a grater or something? I don't know. Um, and a gun. Excuse me. We've got a lot of alternate hands. That's one of the best things about these. We get so many alternate hands with the ultimates. I like the fur texture on them in the different colors. Looks really nice. Looks like we got a tiny crow, like missing a hand. Oh no, what is that? Like a, oh, it's a coin. Like he's flipping a bottle cap or something. Interesting. Honestly, I don't know who that is, and I apologize. We have the whoa, bag busting out with gold coins. And he's robbing the place with the giant cartoony character dollar symbol. I like that. I just like the corniness of it. Oh, that's a tent. That's cool. I was expecting that. We'll see what I mean in a minute. We have a hammer. It's got like a light blue text, uh, paint job on the metal piece with the uh, really nice like oh um, texture and engraving of the even down to the little screws got painted on the hammer. Interesting. That is fast. That is really good. Uh, we got the fish as well. They even textured the fish. Um, nice. This is a really good figure. The file. I think that's what this is. Like to file through a bar. We have the birthday gun, I guess. Ah, yeah, cool. Like a pistol covered, like hiding in a cake, basically. We got an alternate head, kind of a side eye head, suffering from that great McFarland disease. Oh, twist tie, not a twist tie, a band.
apologies on that. That took me forever to get him out. Um, he has like a ball and chain. I like the texturing on the ball. Looks really cool. The uh, claw marks that are cutting through the thing. And I think this actually... It, does this come off? Maybe not. There's like the lock for it. The hair detail looks really nice. We got the inmate number. The black and white kind of old-timey jail outfit with an, a file like necklace type of thing too which is also textured nice this is actually a string so it feels nice we got the kind of toothy grin where they painted the backs black to give it that depth actually really nice um yeah i like it i like it articulated tail with tears on the back oh tail came off tail's just a joint so it doesn't have articulation i thought it did it just swivels uh, stand test? Oh. Whoa. Stands well. I don't think I really did a stand test brace. I'm gonna fix that foot. Eh, nice. They both stand pretty well, so. Yeah, I love them. Uh, I don't really have any complaints. They're spot on. For what they're supposed to be and it just continue uh i i think it's cool that we got two popular characters ace duck a pretty popular character in the original toy line and the cartoon and then you got scratch uh the rare old expensive figure that has now been kind of remade so pretty cool for what it is i'm gonna give them both big thumbs up i think it continues the streak of just every figure being a hit for the ninja turtle line and that's gonna be it for this one if you like this video please leave a like comment subscribe you do not have to if you don't want to but i always appreciate anybody who does I'll catch you guys in the next video.